Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, greetings to our presiding Bishop, Bishop S. Farron, to our First Lady Farron, to Bishop Norman Comrie, to our Sister Maxine Comrie. Greetings each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings to our YouTube viewers, our Facebook viewers. We would like to greet you in Jesus' name. Please do join us in praise and worship. After that, we will then have our opening prayer by our Pastor Brian. Get a tambourine, get a shaker, join us in praise and worship.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things uh, he had done. Glory to God. We just want to honor the Holy Spirit, the keeper of our life, our sovereign Savior. He is the Almighty God. He is the creator and the maker of the universe. He is Jehovah Yahshua. He is our Savior. He is the Christ. He is the ancient of days. He is the anointed one. We honor his presence. I want to greet our Bishop Ferran, our First Lady Ferran. I want to greet our Bishop Comrie. Greet our sister Comrie, our other ministers of the gospel, saints in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and visitors, those that are watching this stream at this moment. I greet each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are giving God thanks for this another day. Glory to God, where we have the free liberty, even though we are locked down at our home, but praise be to God, we have the liberty that we can come together, not in flesh, but in spirit. And the word of God says, they that worship the Lord, they must worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. So can all heads bow as I take you to the throne of grace, asking that the Holy Spirit will have his leading and direction upon the service today. Glory to God, glory to God. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege we have to carry everything to God in prayer. Our Father and our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. The God that lets things that seem impossible be possible. The God that opened the blind eyes. We honor you this morning. We shabak your name. All glory belongs unto you. And all praises belongs unto you. We thank you for today. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you that you are alive and you are seated at your Father's right hand. Even throughout this pandemic lockdown, God Almighty, we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor because you alone is exalted. Father, we give you thanks for today, even for this service. We thank you for the moderator for today. We thank you for the songs that we'll be singing. We thank you for the word that you're going to send unto our spirit. We thank you for the one that is going to stand to encourage our hearts. Mighty God, with your words. We thank you for the lives that will be touched. We thank you for the lives that will be transformed through your divine words. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty, we are not only praying, Almighty God, for our brethren, but we are praying for the nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that man will come to know you as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that you are the creator and you have the old world in your divine hand. I ask for your divine blessing upon the service today. Have your own sweet divine way as we look to you by faith and we tell you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Next, we will have our scripture reading, which is taken from Psalms 145, reading from verse 1 to 10, and that will be read by our sister Melissa and Francis. Greetings to our Bishop and First Lady and everyone in their respective places. I will be reading today's scripture from Psalms 145, verses 1 to 10. I will exalt thee, my God, O King and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honour of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, 
and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are all over his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, thy saints shall bless thee. These words are already blessed, but we honour them by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Yeah.
Please receive our Elder Hay from our Islington location, after which we will then have our Pastor Monica Thompson for Ministry of Praise Tottenham. Our Bishop and the brethren, in Jesus' mighty name, thank God we live to see this another day that we can able to say what we can say to each another. Give God the glory, give Him the praise, give Him the honor. Thank God for everything, in Jesus' name. Hello. I'm Pastor Monica Thompson of the church in Tottenham. And I'm just come to encourage you today with a few words. I greet Bishop Ferran, Bishop Comrie, their family and the churches of the first one. I come today to encourage you, let you know that there is hope. Psalms 46 and the first day said, first verse, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Because he's our refuge, we can run into him. He's our strength and we can depend upon him. And he is our refuge and our strength and our present help in the time of trouble. When there is trouble, God is always present with us. I remember when David and Goliath, and he was a young boy and Goliath was a giant, but he could overcome Goliath because he trusted in God. And today I want to say there's many circumstances, many situations that is getting terrible and terrible more and more. With this COVID-19, we don't know where we stand. But I can tell you today to trust God. Because in God there is refuge. In God there is strength. In God you can depend upon him. This imposter of the virus that come to destroy our life. We know that we can depend on God. And we don't have to rely on our own strength. Because in God we can overcome. And believe you me, take it from me today that God will stand with his people. There is no failure with God. He will stand and he will fight our battle. In Jesus' name. Let us prepare ourselves to participate in Holy Communion. Please receive our Bishop Norman Comrie in Jesus' name. In the sweet and precious name of Jesus, giving God thanks for spreading our life. And on this Sunday morning, we praise God as we gather to take our co Holy Communion. May I greet the Holy Spirit of God to our Bishop and First Lady Ferrum, our Pastor Reverend Dr. Clark, Pastor Brian, Pastor Morgan, Pastor Bedford, Pastor Stewart, Pastor Sims. Glory to God. I want to greet each and every one of you and the saints in the sweet and precious name of Jesus. Thanking God for sparing our lives, we pray God that we can be coming together in this manner, we pray God as we are about to take our Holy Communion, should we praise God. I'm just going to ask you just to follow the reading, should we praise God, as we make preparation, should we praise God, as we eat and drink in remembrance of the sacrifice on Calvary, should we praise God. The Master says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them and they made ready the Passover. Glory to God. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and says, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had stopped saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. Glory to God. And the reading was taken from 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 to 28. 
Glory to God. I'm going to ask you to take your bread to pray. God, bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you one more time for your goodness and your mercy. Father, today, Lord God, as we come this morning, Lord God, Lord, in our time of Holy Communion, remembering the sacrifice on Calvary. Father, today, Lord God, as we come together, Lord God, Lord God, to glorify and Lord God, to magnify you. Father, we ask your blessings upon this bread right now. Father, we ask that you transform it. Father, as we eat in remembrance, Lord God, of your sacrifice on Calvary, Father, we ask your blessings upon it right now as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Take eat in remembrance of Jesus.
the same manner also he took the cup and when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood and as often as you drink it you do show my death until i come dear heavenly father we thank you today lord god Father, as we lift up this wine before your presence, Lord God, representing your blood. Lord, we sing, what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, today, Lord God, we ask that you transform this wine as your children eat and drink, Lord God. Let it renew their strength, Lord God. Lord, spiritually and temporary, Lord God. Father, you said to Moses, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Father, cover us today, Lord God. Father, as we drink in remembrance of you, Father, we ask your blessings right now as we tell you thanks for your goodness and your mercy in Jesus' name. Take drink in remembrance of Jesus. Please receive our presiding bishop, Bishop S. Ferrin, for the word for today. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share with all friends and family. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today I want to give honor to the Almighty God, Amen. Our Redeemer, our Master, and our Friend, our Lords of Lord. I want to greet the Bishop, First Lady. I want to greet the Elders, the Evangelists, the Deacon, and all the Saints in the wonderful and precious name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our Redeemer our master and our friend. The one who loves us with a great love. Amen. And today, I bless the Lord because many of my friends pass and gone through this disease that passed through the land. But I am still here. And David said, it's only those who are alive can praise God. Dead man can't praise God. So I am alive. So I have a right to give God the glory. And nothing should ever to stop me from giving God the glory. We lose our loved ones. Could man go to the funeral? But here we are today on the land of the living. And the Bible said, the word of God said, a live dog is better than a dead lion. Praise the name of the Lord. So today we have a right to glorify God. And I'm begging you, this may be the last time you see me, I hear from me. But no, don't let nobody beg you to praise God. You should know to give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure it forever. It's not because uh, we better than those who God, no, but God have mercy. And he tell Moses, I am God and I will have mercy on those who I will have mercy and I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. Hallelujah. I ask you to turn with me again to Psalms 145 verse 8. Hallelujah. We give out this topic for your convention up there now we don't preach it. And I ask you to preach it because great things in there about God, what God can do and how God doing things. Hallelujah. Verse it's a gracious is our Lord. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to hunger and plain great in mercy. The Lord is gracious. We have a great God, one who take care of us. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then plan out that many of us shouldn't still here because we got over 70. But hallelujah, God is gracious unto us. Amen. And he bless us with strength. He bless us with understanding. Amen. Give us good food to eat. That though we couldn't go outside, but our children. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Keep us inside and risk your life to go and buy things you are going to give us. Now, if it was not been for God, they would locked up inside and bed. But thank God for Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So today he is gracious. 
He is gracious, full of compassion. He's not a God who begs with people. Hallelujah. He's not a God who is a hungry God. He's a God who is full of compassion. And David writes in our nice song, If God would mark iniquity, then who would be able to stand? But praise God, his ways come past fine now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So he is to be praised. He is to be honored. He is to be reverent. He is to be glorified. Hallelujah. Amen. John says to the heaven and the earth bow before him. Man must bow in the presence of the Almighty God. He's not the prime minister. He's not the president. He's not the queen. He holds the whole world in his hand. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then we, a child of God, you are secure. You have shelter. You are secure. Hallelujah. No devil from hell can hurt us unless God gave the command. Hallelujah. And that's why when Satan go to God and tell him, say, you consider sir, your servant Job, you think he serve you for not only because you bless him. Move what you have. And see if he will not curse you to face to face. But praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God Almighty, Job hold to his eternity. And he say, I know, I know. Nobody don't know it like you. I know that my Redeemer liveth. And that he shall stand on the earth on the latter day. And that though afterward destroy his body. Yet in my flesh shall I see God and say, yes, my eyes shall behold him and not another. Oh, praise the Lord. What a gracious God we have. What a loving God. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Further in the psalm, the word of God said, amen. He sent the rain and the just and the unjust. He provides for all the people. And one of the verses, every one of them get the meal in time. Oh, God Almighty, what a God we serve. Oh, hallelujah. And sometimes dinner cook and when you get your one, it cool. Amen. Hallelujah. But God gives everybody, the animal, the bird, the hands, and everything, their mealing time at the right time. What a God Almighty. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Let our church praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good and God is worthy. Gracious. Is a God that I serve. Thank him for his compassion. Thank him is slow to hunger. Bless the Lord. When God drives you, that simply means you've gone overboard. And then try, and I'll kill you what I kill you, but you only try to bring you back. Mother in a home is only a mad mother or a mad father would be their children for nothing. Hallelujah. But any time you got to go the way, you will have to take all this trap. Because you want them, if they could co even come out better than home, me and you come out, you will like your children, your sons and your daughters to come out good. But any time they're going the wrong way, oh, praise the name of the Lord, then you will have to show them that that way where you're going is not the right way. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when God, when the word of God says, David know for himself that God is a gracious God. He know for himself that God is slow to hungry. He know for himself that God is plenteous in mercy. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a God we serve. What a God we have. What a God we honor. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if it was under the law, amen, we all would dead and gone long time. But praise God, Jesus came. Oh, hallelujah. And John writes in St. John 1 17. Hallelujah. For the law was given by Moses, but truth and grace come to Jesus Christ. What is grace? A merited and merited favor. In other words, you're not doing nothing to get it. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have done nothing to get it. But God have favored us and give us his grace. Give us his son. Send him to die. Hallelujah. To give life 
And Jesus said, I live and you will live also. So I tell the devil, you never get rid of me before God ready for me. Bless the Lord. If I drop off the house, stop and drop on the floor, I will get up, get up and go about my business because if God no, no planning out that I should die by falling down, not a devil can do that for me. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. For the law was given by Moses. But truth and grace come through Jesus Christ. Truth and grace. God is truth and he would like us to be true. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is good. Send his only son to redeem the lost. My God treated worse than an early man. Jesus Christ, the son of God, with butter and bruise. Amen. But how when he nail on the cross, he asks him, Father, forgive them, but does not know what they have done. For if they had known, they would not crucify the Lord of glory. But thank God they never know. Hallelujah. Thank God they never know. Because there was no other antidote, no other remedy, eh? no other solution for man iniquity but the blood of Jesus. With all the thousand and thousand and thousand. Of lamb that they slay, my God, the bullocks, the red heifer, none of them could not, blood could not pay the price of our sin. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord, God Almighty. We have it easy today, those priests work on the clock. Amen. Hallelujah. But yet still, he could not do nothing. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then kill the red heifer. In the wilderness, burn it and keep the ashes in the wilderness. That if anybody have any disease or such a light, then get somebody ashes, mix you up and chew up on them, and then believe that they heal. My God Almighty, thank God for Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. We got the blood of Jesus Christ today. Hallelujah. Mm, Isaiah saw him that he was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. A sheep before the shearer, he was dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Praise the Lord. So thank God that Jesus came. Bring truth and grace and merited favor. We don't even worry of it. We don't do nothing to get it. It's the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoso believed on him, they should not perish. But I should have everlasting life. And God asks Ezekiel, why should you die when I make a way for you to live? Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the people today did know the joy that in Jesus Christ. The people today did know what it means to have fellowship with Jesus Christ. Not a man would stay in sin. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But thank God today, those who know the Lord. The word of God says, the people who know the God, Daniel writes it, they shall be strong and do great exploits. In other words, no devil no push us where we want to push us, hallelujah, because we are strong and powerful in God, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. But when Jesus leaves in earth and travel with the disciples, I need it, Acts chapter 8. One of them asked Jesus, will you return the kingdom of God back to Israel? Jesus said, no, it's not in your power to know what God is doing. But you shall have power after the Holy Ghost has came upon you. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. And Jesus give us power and authority to use the word of God. Hallelujah. And if I give my daughter and my children key and they come at the door, they ring the bell. Oh, let me see them. I say, where your key? Is it last? Oh, hallelujah. Because I go, I live uh, at my home. And if somebody see me climbing through the window, they would call the police. Because if I live there, I suppose to have a key. 
So Jesus give us authority. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Come on, man. Jesus give us right to use in name. John write, behold what manner of love the Father has in store upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. And John before that it does not yet appear what we shall be, but this we know, that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is, dead of our sire. If any man have this hope, let them purify themselves, even as he is pure. The Lord God Almighty is great. Paul writes in Romans 5.21 that our sin has reigned unto death. Even so must grace reign unto righteousness. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sin reigned for a certain amount of time. Amen. Couldn't help nobody. Amen. Come like the solution, what they, the dissolution, what they have today with what they call it. I remember what they call it, but they call it one name. And up then now, how many hundred people did? And they still can't find a remedy. God Almighty. See, me in the Old Testament. The law was only a schoolmaster to lead us to Christ. So the law left us at the door where Jesus come in. So when Jesus come in now, hallelujah, he abandoned the law. And we are free. Oh, hallelujah. That by our sin reign unto death. Mm, hallelujah. Even so, no righteousness. In Jesus Christ, rain. And hey, don't think because I go to the road and fall on me finish. Because Psalm 1, Psalm 145 and 1 verse say, God lift up those who are falling and those who carry on tell them pain. God Almighty lift them up. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you see your brother or your sister stumble, amen, don't think that is the end. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, praise the Lord. For we are not under the law, we are the stone you. But we are under grace. Praise the Lord. That as one man sin, get rain unto death. Even so in a mass, grace, rain unto righteousness through Jesus Christ the Lord. Hey, just stop it. Just stop real. Because I'm a man sent real, a God sent real. The same how God, you can kill the grass. If you kill it, it grow back. See me righteousness. Righteousness will reign until the king of king return back home to take his church. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You are God sent the Moses. In Exodus 34, amen, and verse 6. And the Lord speak by him, him and proclaim the Lord God is God. Merciful, gracious, long-suffering, abundant in goodness and truth. God proclaimed those words to Moses. And when Moses get the first commandment and break it, the next time God tell him, come up here and don't let nothing pass by the foot of the mountain. And God proclaimed this word unto Moses. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord God is merciful, gracious, Find some, still find some gracious people who will help. And sometimes we carry out like everybody in the world bad. It's not everybody bad. You got good people. You got people who will put themselves out of the way to help somebody. Like how Jesus gave his life to help me. 
Hallelujah. And Jesus knew if he was only me as a sinner on earth, he would still come. Oh, hallelujah. But you still find some good people today. And never we put everybody in a one basket. Because, hallelujah, people different. People still love one another. People still hate one another. And it will not stop until the new kingdom come. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So God has saying, I am a merciful God. And don't think God, hallelujah. Like some people when them vex, you can meet on the road and tell them to them vex. They pull up their short sleeve and ready to fight. God don't walk with no ammunition away from love and mercy. Keep your side. God is not a hand to God. He is the Lord God Almighty. Keeping mercy for thousands and forgive their iniquity. Hallelujah. And their transgression and their sin. That by the mean cleanse them and guide them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That Almighty God. That's the God who we love. Upon the children and upon the children's children. And to the third and fourth generation that really love God. Your father did love God, you come love God, your children come love God. They did and God and their children come and love God. Come in the family. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come like the Amen. Abraham got Isaac. Abraham gone. But the covenant still with Isaac. Isaac gone, Jacob come. And the covenant is still with Jacob. Oh, hallelujah. God Almighty. When they're ready to leave out the bandage, they will never want them to go but God Almighty wrought miracle and brought them out. Amen. But they remember, God remember Hebrew, the covenant that he has made with Hebrew, the covenant that he has made with Isaac. God come to the time when he changed Jacob's name from Jacob to Israel. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He is the Lord God Almighty, powerful and strong. Got the whole world in his hand. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. The writer said he got that little bit of baby in his hand. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He got mother and father in his hand. He had the whole world in his hand. He is the Lord Jehovah. He is the Lord Prince of Peace. He is the Lord Rose of Sharon. He is the Lord the Lily of the Valley. He is the Lord the Brighter than all the man in style. The one who tell me in his word that heaven and earth will pass. But my word shall not pass. My word stand. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm glad that is not the size of a person make it to be a man or a woman. It's a word. Your word, you stand by your word. Stand by your word. Stand by your word. And if somebody wants to change it, stand by your word. I see man of God dead for drinking water and eat bread. Because he never stand by the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. But when you stand by the word of God, God stand with you. Hallelujah, like a tree that planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither. But whatsoever he doeth, he shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. David said, They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. For Mount Zion shall never move. But abide it forever. For the mountain and the hill and camp it about Jerusalem. So are the Lord and camp it about them that fear him. The Lord bless and the Lord keep and preserve. We are in a God be freeze. And as long as we stay with God, it will never switch out the, free, the, the, the freezer. Because you would not meet in the freezer and no say you will spoil if you switch, and switch it out. Amen. So you make sure it's there. Oh, hallelujah. And anytime you want that meat and take it out, it bleeds just like you just did. 
Our life has been hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ who is my life shall appear, Colossians 3. When Christ who is my life shall appear, we shall also appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. Straighten yourself. Lift up your head, he gave, and be lifted up your everlasting door. The King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. The Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. God bless you and keep you. God bless you and uphold you. Do not be afraid of what is going on. Greater left to go. But we have seen and shelter. Five said, stay on board. A dirty ship wreck. But hold on to what you hold on. If I am broke in pieces, you will able to make it. God bless you. In Jesus' name. <laughs>